Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on making decisions in Python. In this video, we'll learn how to control the flow of our programs using conditional statements. This will allow our programs to make decisions based on certain conditions. Python provides several tools for decision making, such as the lift statement, if else statement, nested if statements, and the lilif statement. Let's see how it's done. Let's start with the basic if statement. The if statement is the most basic conditional statement in Python. It allows us to execute a block of code only if a certain condition is true. Let's write a program that checks if a number is positive or negative. In this code, we first prompt the user to enter a number using the input function. The float function converts the input to a floating point number. The if statement checks if the number is greater than zero. If it is, the code inside the indented block will print positive number. Then it will print negative number. Running the program will produce an output similar to this. If a negative number is entered, the program will print negative number. Entering a positive number will result in the program printing both positive number and negative number. Here, print positive number will execute only if the number is greater than zero. Print negative number will be executed always. Now, let's add the else statement to the program. The else statement offers an alternative block of code to execute if the condition in the if statement is false. Make sure to verify the indentation of every code block. Since the condition in the if statement is checking for a positive number, the else block will execute if the condition is false. In other words, this line will print negative number if the number is negative or zero. Sometimes we have to make decisions inside other decisions. That's when nested if statements are handy. A nested if statement is an if statement that contains another if statement inside of it. This allows us to make more complex decisions based on multiple conditions. Let's examine an example of a nested if statement. Define two variables, username and password, to store the user's login credentials for the purpose of verifying successful login. These will represent the login credentials for our program. Now, the outer if statement. This will check if the username entered matches admin. Indentation is crucial in Python to define code blocks that belong to the if statement. Here comes the nested part. We have another if statement inside the outer one. This inner if checks if the password matches. Notice the extra indentation level here. If both conditions are true, this line will print a success message, you are logged in as admin. If the username is admin but the password doesn't match, this else block will execute, printing wrong password. Lastly, there's another else block that deals with cases where the username is incorrect. Since the outer if condition is false, this else block will print wrong username. As expected, the code successfully checks the credentials and prints the appropriate message based on the username and password entered. Moving on to the relief statement, short for else if, it provides an alternative way to manage multiple conditions in Python. It enables the chaining of several conditions following an initial if statement. Let's create a program that determines whether a given number is positive, negative, or zero. We'll utilize an elif statement specifically to handle the case when the number is zero. Create a variable named number. This prompts the user to enter a number and stores it as a decimal number in the number variable. This if statement checks if the number is positive. If it is, it will print a number is positive. Now comes the elif statement. It allows us to specify another condition to check if the if statement was false. Here, we're checking if the number is less than zero. If it is, number is negative will be printed. And finally, the else block. 
This block will only execute if neither the if statement nor the elif statement is true, meaning the number is neutral. Here, we print number is neutral. Let's run the code and see how it handles different number inputs. That's it. Thank you for watching and happy coding.